Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net, where I help people build a business based on your greatest strengths, talents, and life experience. And so today I have a really good subject. Today I'm gonna to talk about why people buy. But not just why people buy, I'm actually gonna talk about why people buy from you. This is such a very important video. Uh, if you get any value from this, I would appreciate if you would just share this at the end. So this is a really interesting subject because when most people talk about why people buy, they talk about things like the psychology of selling, which I will cover in a different video because I do think that's very important but I'm actually going to approach it from a different position. I'm going to approach it from your foundation because as I said yesterday, there are two things that everyone struggles with. Number one is how to make money. And number two, how to, uh, how to, how to overcome your mindset. And so what really why people buy is, about client attraction because I'm kind of over this whole we need to go get clients like if you're trying to lose weight you don't try to go and find ways to lose weight because otherwise you would be sitting there looking for ways to lose weight and not actually losing weight if you think that you're gonna go get clients then you're not focusing on what actually attracts clients and what this really comes down to for many people, not everybody, but what it comes down to is your solid business foundation. Because there is one thing that people buy and it is a, the solution to a problem. People have a problem, but where the problem for you lies if you're struggling to attract clients is that there's a confusion between the problem you solve, the urgent problem you solve, and your marketing. Okay, so I just want you to clear your head of everything you've been taught about all the list building, about getting clients, about you know doing all doing your social media and all of that. I just want to, and if you've listened to me before, um, you knew I would work this in at some point. We're going to talk about the three brains because what people really buy is your conviction. People make decisions to buy based on their emotional brain. And you need to understand how people's minds think before we need to understand what your business is. So I'm going to talk about the three brains because it's the foundation of everything. It'll help you in all different areas of your, of your life. We have three brains. You think it's just one mass up here, one genius, but it's actually three brains. We have our fight or flight brain, which is back here. It's our, uh, it's, it's the oldest brain back in the caveman days. You could, it would tell you to run from, uh, saber tooth tigers. It's where fear lives and it, all, everything that happens in our lives go through that brain first. So if you, you're, you know, your biological functions, it all goes through that fear brain and it has to bypass that in order to go to what I call your genius, your emotional brain. Your emotional brain is where your heartfelt gut reactions are, where people who, uh, where, 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 like if you fall in love, that's done in your emotional brain. You don't have to have like a fact sheet on somebody in order to fall in love. Then we have what I call your stupid thinking brain. Your stupid thinking brain is the one that learns, but in actuality, your stupid thinking brain is the one that keeps you stuck. So important to remember as an entrepreneur, your stupid thinking brain, we've 95% unconscious thought, 80% negative, 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. So much of our thoughts every day are negative 
and that stupid thinking brain so you may come up with a great idea in your genius emotional brain and you feel so strongly about it and you just know it's the right thing and then that stupid thinking brain will come up with five million reasons why that genius idea won't work and this is why like you know you set out with a big goal and by the end of the day you're like what's wrong with me <laughs> don't worry because it happens to everybody so just like how you think that, I mean, like really relate to experiences in your own life, the people that you attract, they're going through the exact same things. They have the exact same brains. And for the clients that you serve, people often call them your ideal client. Ideal is some fake term. So I'm just going to call them your clients. The people that get you, they have the same issues in going on in their head. So in their emotional brain, you know, let's say that, so I'll just use me as, as an example. So I'm a business strategist to help people build their business. Uh, things in, in, uh, that go through my emotional brain, I just have a lot of great ideas. I'm very creative. And then my stupid thinking brain is like, Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that'll work. I, you know, maybe I shouldn't do it. So if I don't understand that those thoughts are getting in my head, I'll never do it. What is interesting is the same thing happens to my clients. So people, my clients, recognize that, uh, that I understand how the brain works and I'm teaching solid knowledge. And they see me as the answer when I'm able to get over my stupid thinking brain and get my great ideas out. This is where the solid business foundation comes in. So I'm sure that you've heard your business needs to be based on an urgent problem, but this is where everybody gets it confused is that your business in order to make money, needs to just solve a problem because in actuality you know there are a lot of problems in the world so on a base level your business needs to solve a problem that people would pay money for you help people lose weight you help people build a business you help people um, detox their body you help people um, get past uh, let's see I don't know Whatever, whatever it is that you do in your business, you have people dress better. That's a problem that people would pay money for. That's a proven factual problem. People are Googling that, okay? So that's the problem that you solve. But this is where everybody gets it wrong. The, so whether or not it's urgent and why people would buy from you this is so important, you really need to understand this, is the urgent problem you solve is with your value. Wait. <laughs> is the emotion because you have struggled with it too. The urgent problem that you solve is actually that emotional connection that they need to see you as the answer. So your business solves a factual problem. People are Googling it. People will pay money for it. I really see people get this wrong because if you're trying to sell the other side of it, people won't, won't want to pay money for it. The urgent problem you solve is in who you are, your promise to your customer, and how you show that in your marketing, in your branding. It's, people never talk about this. This is why so many people are confused. People just say, you know, oh, you have to build a list, you have to do all these things, and then you see them, they're making money. But in actuality, they're doing something that's a little behind the scenes. And that little behind the scenes is that they're just being themselves out loud and then they're teaching all this factual information. That's what strategic marketing is. So 
let's just equate this to a brick and mortar store because everyone will get this example. When you walk in a mall, there's like a million different stores. There's a Pottery Barn, there's a, uh, a Macy's, there's, um, uh, I don't know, this, this name popped in my mind, it doesn't exist anymore, I'm sure. Casual Corner, there's a Banana Republic, there's an Abercrombie & Fitch. I bet you have named some stores there that you don't walk into. And you know why? Because the urgent problem that they solve, each of them is very different. What their brands represent are completely different. What they sell, they're products that people need. But you don't need all those products. You need, like if you, if you are an Abercrombie customer and you're like diehard Abercrombie, you will pass by American Eagle, you'll pass by all the similar stores because you like Abercrombie. Do you know why you like Abercrombie? Because it's an attitude. It's like, I'm cool, I'm hip. You may not look like a teenager, but in your mind, you like feel like, you know, I look like that model there. I could attract that guy, <laughs> whatever it is. They deliver an emotion. But what they sell is just clothing, just like everyone else. In fact, some of the styles are very similar. The quality is better than American Eagle, but that's beside the point. It's, it's the, their branding and the position they take in the marketplace. So bring this online. So the urgent problem that you solve, like for me, I help people build a business based on your talent strength, strengths and life experience. I bet you there are, I'm, I'm, I guarantee you, there are many, many other people that do that. So that's just a problem I solve. People are Googling it, and when they come across me, I may be able to solve their problem. But the urgent problem I solve is for people with lots of expertise, talent, and life experience. Not years, but they just, they know what they're doing. They know it so well, but they don't maybe understand business. They aren't able to collect all those thoughts in their head and all their creative ideas and get it out because their stupid thinking brain is judging them and wants it to be perfect and then it never gets birthed. So they can't make the money that they need to make even though they have all this expertise and they know and they, and my clients really want to help people. So it becomes an even more urgent problem. Because now they're like trying to like help people, they have this information and they can't get people to see their value. That's an urgent problem, but it's kind of intangible. And when I'm able to overcome my stupid thinking brain, I'm able to get that information out and the right people will hear me. So for you, what is your urgent problem that you solve? What is it deep inside of you? What vulnerability, or what I would rather call just your true self, needs to come out in your business? How can you show that in other ways besides just a Facebook post? It's in your images, in your copy, in the way that you just show up every day. That urgent problem is so important for you to understand that that's your promise to your customer. And when, and the right kind of marketing, so now we're gonna talk about marketing. So now we have the problem, the urgent problem, and where, every, where everyone gets us confused is your marketing. Your marketing needs to promote, marketing is to build awareness. So you need to promote what it is that you do. I'm sorry, but you can't just pretend that pretty images are going to make people look up your profile so that they may eventually buy from you. If you have a business, social media is a tool. No, you should not become an infomercial, but you need to mix everything in. It has to have the emotion. It has to deliver the, the urgent problem. 
that emotion. It has to deliver the problem, so you actually have to promote what you sell, and it has to be in, in your, with the branding that represents your image of what it is, those emotions. So the reason for photography and all of that, you know, having high quality images, everybody says, is all of that is how people make decisions. We take in information from all of our five senses. And if you are not connected to your five senses, you're gonna have a very difficult time attracting clients. This is why getting clients just doesn't work because this is why like people could, hi Brandy, this is why people take like B-School, they spend thousands of dollars hiring coaches, they, they learn every business thing out there and they still can't get clients. Because if you don't have that emotional connection, you could have all the tactical tools out there, but if you don't even understand your own emotions, you can't have marketing that, that gets results. Marketing, Peter Drucker said, he's the famous marketer, marketing is communication that gets results. If it's not getting results, it's not marketing correctly. So what you have to understand is just, just putting stuff out there, trying to put your, your posts out there, or trying, like putting your, what you sell out there, that's not just gonna attract your clients to you. Just putting all this emotion out there or putting pretty pictures out there, that's not gonna attract clients to you either. Marketing is communication that gets results. So you need to mix it all in so that people know you have a business, number one. Number two, you have to deliver that emotion through your images, through your copy, through how you understand what it is the urgent problem is. And then you need to be you and find a way to be confident. So I, I actually, I share, this, uh, I share this with my clients and it's kind of, you're gonna think this is kind of stupid, but this is how I overcome my stupid thinking brain, is that I, your goal is to have conviction and confidence in yourself. I have so much conviction in what it is that I do, but I am human also. So all my life, I've always sought, af sought, sought out uh, validation for lack of a better term. You know, I always wanted to be part of the popular crowd. I wanted to fit in and being Asian in Indiana just really, you know, I was ridiculed. So all my life I've been, I've been seeking that out subconsciously, like not consciously, I don't sit there and go validate me, you know. It just, it was a, an, uh, it's an unconscious behavior. But I found that the best way for me to overcome my stupid thinking brain, the one that judges me and keeps my ideas from getting out, is to go and uh, you know dive into what I love. So you need to understand what you love. So I love fashion. I love fashion bloggers. I love personal style. I love help. This is why I'm so good at helping people get their own personal style out. Why I'm so good at copywriting, is because. I, I understand how to do that. But for myself, it was very hard because I would always never, uh, I would never uh, let myself do that because I kept thinking, I gotta work on my business. I gotta do, you know, I have to do all these like things. When I could get rid of that and really focus on what I love, uh, like perfecting my wingtip eyeliner, you know, putting, making sure uh, that I, I look presentable and that I, I, you know, dress up or, you know, I'm wearing jeans, but I dress up as me and I show up as me every day. And you know what that does? It does nothing for me to make money, but it makes me feel confident and happy so that when I get on, on uh, Facebook live, despite having a fear of video originally, I see I can I can shut down my stupid thinking brain because it's not judging me you know do I look okay the things that that uh, that I'm concerned about now I can just speak from my genius brain 
So what do you love? What makes you feel confident? Do you have kids screaming in the background? Hey, include them in, because I bet you, so do your clients. Uh, how can you teach that in your business? There are so many different fun things that you can do in your business that will help you feel confident, number one, and number two, build that emotional connection with the people that you serve who are willing to pay you money. So that's it for today. I really wanted to get this out because nobody is teaching it. And I, I hope that you understand. If you don't, please post a question below because this one thing could change everything in your business. If you get this right, it will change everything. It'll change how you market, how confident you feel, and how you attract clients to you so you can make the money you deserve. So if you've got any value from this, I would appreciate if you share this with your best business friend because we want to empower others. I want to see change in this world to make this world a better place for you, for your kids, for our future. And, um, oh, you have a hair appointment? Awesome. See, Brandy's taking good care of herself. Woohoo! <laughs> so, oh, thank you for sharing the video, Brandy. So, uh, you know, what can you do to make yourself feel and look better? Thank you, Brandy. Love you. And I'll be back tomorrow talking about another genius subject. I'm so glad I got to talk about the three brains. And you guys have a fabulous night. See you later.